yeah. coming in there, looking a bit villain-like almost. There's Louise Marzahn. I can't imagine that she's going to be overawed uh, by this situation. Who did uh, Louis have in the fight just before this? Uh, Catherine Roberge. And then before that, uh, she would have, it would have been the fight that she lost out to um, Lucy Louette. We did see her with a really good win against uh, Batulga Munkhtai yep. earlier on against Mongolia. We also saw um, Fekirk come out really, really punching um, against um, uh, Gemma Gibbons. Yeah, in the um, semi-final. Yeah, she really came out at top speed. Um, didn't pay off in the end because um, Rob Hirsch came there and um, wore, uh, um, Gibbons uh, wore her down. Yeah, and she was almost in the final, Mahinda Fakirk, yeah? And then Gemma Gibbons through this wonderful Ochigari. Right so at the from death, it must have been to seconds from the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 424, we've only lost uh, half a minute here, no score yet. Both fighters nice and tall standing up. An attempt from O. There, Luise Malzam wanted to go for the Shimewatsa. Michael Bezinski. Concentrated. Absolutely. Eyes concentrated. Yeah. So, one minute is over, no score the, on the scoreboard. Here's that stand up survey yes. that uh, was she a good attempt. Gibbons with earlier on for Wazari. Yeah. Louis Maltzan is up to it, blocks it, now and has to um, defend in the Waza. Good defense from the, uh, from the German there, managing to uh, keep out Ferkirk. She picks up a uh, passivity penalty though. Bronze medalist from the Junior World Championship mm. in Paris in 2009. Maltzan suffered a, a knee injury after that, kept her out for a while, but looks in uh, good condition now. Yep. Steps around that, blocks it nicely. Dangerous for Kirk when she's standing yeah. up with that Sionagi. Yep. So, the Dutch girl is more active in this fight. Louise Malzahn must do a little bit more. Otherwise, she will, be, will get some more penalties. So, it's up to her. Be a little bit faster. Yeah. I think... Wasn't it the, the second Shido? Yeah. It's not on the scoreboard, but now. Just a little over two minutes to go. Yeah. So this time, Fakir was the first who attacked. And the referee, of course, he realizes that. That she's more active. She, she, she's just more active. Now an attempt from Luisa Malzahn. This is not her first technique. He's dropped kind of Zionage. One and a half minutes. 
less than one and a half minutes. Kirk is working and working because the time is with her. Time is running down on the clock. So less than a minute now. The coach, Michael Batzinski, has given Louise some last advices to change the situation on the scoreboard. So some time to catch your breath. Especially for Louise Malzahn. The last 45 seconds. Immediately, Mahinde Fakirk is in Nevazad. She tries to go for, first of all, for the Sankaku and then try to keep her busy. Oh, the big attack. Hare Goshi. The last chance, maybe, for Luisa Malzahn for an action. The last few seconds. But she really couldn't get her grip, especially her right arm, which she, she needed needs uh, in the back of her opponent. That's it. So the go the bronze medal goes to Mahinde Fakirk of Netherlands and Louise Malzahn. Yeah. Okay, well, fifth. Annette, mm -hmm. thanks very much uh, for that. We're going to have a, a quick visit here with Lothar Matthias. He's going to uh, swap places uh, with uh, Annette Berm just as we wait uh, for the next pair.